It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week. And today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, Wax is here. Yeah. Hey. Um, t- Taylor is here, but y'all can ignore her. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, Schultz, how was your week? It was good, man. It was good. Yeah, I had a, I had a good week, man. We had, uh, we had Chris Hansen on this week, bro. I saw. What is Chris Hansen doing nowadays? Catching them predators, bro. He's still doing that? Mm. That show still come on? Um, nah, he's just doing it for like fun now. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. I always Yo. wanted to beat the beat the cops. I wanted to beat the people up instead of having the cops have me out there, me and my boy. I wish I knew you was interviewing him because I always wanted to know that somebody steal that idea from Cameron. Because Cameron had announced that idea for the catch a predator way before the Catch a Predator debuted. And I always wondered, did somebody from, what that's, what did you come on, CNBC or MSNBC? What channel was that? Nah, I think it was on DNA. NBC, and then I think they replayed it on MSNBC. MSNBC. I always wondered if somebody stole that idea from Cameron. Because I remember, this was, I'm talking about when I say this was years ago, this was when like the only hip-hop site was allhiphop.com and SOHH. And the story was like, Cameron's working on this show where he's going to be setting up pedophiles and catching them in the act. <laughs> and then the Chris Hansen shit came out. I always wondered about that. When was that? I could tell you. Oh, shit. I was doing radio in Columbia at the time, so this had to be like 2000, 2001. When did right. the Catch a Predator start? Yeah, this was before that. When did it start? I think he did 94 to 97 or something like that. To yeah. Chris Hansen? No way. Yeah. I was a teen in 94, 97. I was 10 you years might have been on one of them episodes. <laughs> <laughs> 94, 97? No way. Yeah, that was, that was yeah, 10, bro. Pretty sure, man. Yeah, that shit was back Chris, in the day. There was something called um there was uh, something called Perverted Justice. And it was like an organization that was basically created to catch these pedophiles online because they were in these like chat rooms and shit. And then yeah. Chris Hansen and the producers came on board and they were like, yo, why don't we, why don't we film this shit? It's kind of lit. And the crazy thing is the first two episodes, they didn't even have the cops. Oh, so he was yeah. just winging it. No, nah, like he just did it. And then they let the dude go. No. <laughs> yeah, it was like the two lucky guys. It was like, got you. You're a pedophile. And then he was like, so what happens now? And then Chris Hansen Here was like, go. I don't know. We didn't think that far in the episode. We just <laughs> we just got the pedophiles and that's it. Yo, who's recording the pedophiles now? Because pedophiles still got to be pedophiling, yeah, right? QAnon, bro. QAnon's all over that shit. He yeah, was but doing it before them, it was though? popular. Say what? Are they recording them though? Like if, I, if, a, if a, a man pops up at a 13-year-old's house, is somebody throwing them on social media? You would think you would see more of that. Done. nowadays with social media right yo Hanson said this bro he was like he was like the first episode I was so nervous and I was like you nervous that you know you could be confronted by the pedophile the pedophile might try to shoot you or kill you or something like that and he goes he goes nah I was nervous no pedophiles were gonna show up I was like what, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like that's what you're nervous about he goes he goes then the day of I call the producer and I'm like so what's going on he goes yo they're like yo you gotta get over here there's like 17 people that have confirmed they're going to come by the house. No. Oh, my God. Yeah. And he said he was like, bro, it was like a Jordan drop. I was like, how do you know about Jordans, bro? Yo, the, sick, the sickness of, <laughs> yeah. that, of Chris Hansen was that they named the boy band after him, yo. <laughs> that Damn. show's really still coming on? Um, they, they're doing it again with this network uh, or this, this show called Crime Watchers, and they're going to do a thing called Hansen vs. Predator. He went on YouTube. He started doing them all on YouTube. Like he was. I think the moment is past for nah, catching yeah, they, they pedophiles. Nah, no, 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 no. I'm just talking that. about for that show. Because right, it's like you think about human trafficking now and sex trafficking. Like it's honestly, it seems like too serious of an issue to just have on a TV show. I mean, the show wasn't a comedy. 
It kind of was, bro. bro like it, nah. I, there's one episode, on, man. bro. There was one I episode, laugh. Laugh. his most viral moment where this guy comes, he brings pizza and all that kind of shit, and then yeah. Chris Hansen confronts him, and then yeah. my man asks if he could eat the pizza while they're talking, and just starts eating the pizza while they're talking, bro. I mean, it was, it's a lot. It was a lot of comedy in the Catch a Predator. I mean, as soon as have a seat. It's like, oh, we in for something good. <laughs> it was unintentional, out. though. It's not intentional yes, comedy. Yes. But the funniest part was when the people actually thought they were leaving. As if uh, the police are not going to be outside <laughs> this time. Yeah. Because we've all seen The Catch a Predator. As soon as you leave, you know you're not leaving. Yeah. Chris Hansen goes, you're free to leave. Like, no, we might as well sit here and keep talking. They, they need to <laughs> definitely redo it and do it like have goons outside because yeah. you, ain't, you ain't got no consequences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going to, you're going to three hots in the cot. Yeah. You're about to go eat food and they're about to take care of you in a cell. But you need to get your ass beat the fuck up and I think you'll stop this shit. Now, Man, Wax, you have much more experience in prison than I do, but I heard it's not too good to be a pedophile. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you don't. I'm saying you're going to get your ass whooped in there, but I feel like if you whip that person's ass right there, I think you'll help them out. I it's would like rather have right the, his ass whooped uh, in prison by professional ass whoopers. <laughs> yeah, no, for real, because that's, that's the whole point of jail, right? Like, jail's not supposed to be sweet. So yeah. not only are you locked up, you're dealing with the consequences of that, you got to deal with the predators well, they, in jail. Yeah, you got to deal yeah. with the people that's going to beat your ass for what you did. The, the, the reason why I obey the law is not out of fear of, like, being in a cell and then working out with a bunch of guys and, like, eating shitty food. The reason I obey the law is because I don't want to get raped in prison. Is, no, 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 no. It's all of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say it's a whole it's lot to that. go with this. Yeah, you know that's, what I'm sitting, that's sitting in the jail cell, not having freedom when you want to. Can't get no pussy. <laughs> oh I my could God. do that, dude. I just no, did it for fucking 12 months during quarantine. Like, I could just no be no, inside. No, 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 no. Not the same, Ellen. Come on, bro. Andrew DeGeneres. <laughs> 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 bro, I could do it. I could do jail no. if there was no fear of rape. I right, hold up, hold up. Let's forget the rape in jail shit for a second. We're not talking about rape in jail. Let's talk consensual sex with the same sex. This is a great would you rather. Thing. How much you like pussy? No way. I like it a lot. Okay, well, guess what? It's not there. Not there. <laughs> right? How much do you like your favorite food? Like, think about that. You can order whatever you want, eat whatever you want, when your you family. want. family. Like, it's a lot of things to think yeah, about. Yeah, it's a lot right? of things in jail. Jail isn't what... I don't know what you think jail is. Yo, jail is not, just hanging around with dudes that got cool stories to tell. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, Al Bundy bro, stories. <laughs> what you, what you do to get in here? Like, I just want to have those conversations, dude. Like, let's talk. Yeah. It's just a but podcast. Jail's just a long podcast. That's all it is when hey, you think about it. Think about sitting around your homeboys, right? Mm -hmm. And then one of them say some wild shit like, man, I'm horny. And you be like, all right, man, I'm going to head out. Can't do that in jail when that guy's <laughs> sitting around like, hey, man, I'm horny. Well, you see, that's the too. fear. The fear you be like, I'm is. Head out. You'd be like, well, what's head? You said you want to do head what? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're afraid of the rape. But what if they had like some sort of machine that like sucked off all the inmates so none of them were horny, right? They just milked them that's like dairy that's cows. Kinda, that's kind of that's kind of dope, yo. Dr. Dr. Johnson should actually make that. They got like a mouth right now. Yeah. Big asses. Why don't they give it to them? I they do that okay. and it calms everybody down. You wake up first thing in the morning before you go to chow. You know, you get your dick smart, sucked man. by the machine. Okay. They can study guys. the sperm or do whatever they want with it. I don't care. It's, it's this and, thing uh, called freedom, guys. Exactly. We take it for granted. We take it for granted because we have it. <laughs> exactly. right. Charlamagne, you've been locked you. in your house for the last year. You haven't gone out to dinner not one time. I'd much rather be locked in the house than locked in jail. All right, fine. What if you could go to jail with your wife? No. 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 Jail just ain't it, bro. Jail is disgusting. That's why you say you ain't been there? Jail ain't it, You bro. never been locked up at all, Sean? Yo, y'all are, are mad scared, bro. Like, why are you so <laughs> scared, bro? Like, <laughs> so so you experience not... is the best teacher, bro. So, so, but, hey, hey, hey. Let's talk to the jail expert, Alex. Yeah. Yeah, Al. <laughs> Alex has done more time than everybody in here. Yo, Al Thank went you. to jail in Sweden. He basically was just chilling in an Ikea for about a month. And he said it was cool. He said he was calm. He was Shut thinking right. Up. He said he, he had was no meditating. Choice. What the fuck? You go wild out with four walls? Alex, what was the biggest thing you missed when you was in jail? Exact, exactly what, what you guys said. Freedom. Freedom, man. Freedom, man. Nah, he Freedom. said he was reading mad books, catching up on trashy reality shows. Like he said, he was really living his <laughs> I best ain't life no out books. there. What the bro? fuck you think I'm gonna do? You can't even well, watch TV when you want to. Think about that. Think about that. You can't even nah, watch TV. We had a TV, TV in my room. Son, oh, Charlamagne. Yeah. Oh, you had a good they one. They have cell phones yeah. in jail now. First of all, Charlamagne. You're not supposed to have them. I have a fiance. I can't watch TV when I want to now. 
(laughs) (laughs) What is this life where you just get to watch TV whenever you want? Like, you out of your mind? They are definitely the warden, yo. Yeah. Wives are definitely the warden, bro. Let's be serious. We we get to watch it with more comfortable stuff, but come on, bro. Like, the the shitty thing about jail is getting murdered, shanked, or raped. That's the shittiest part about it. That's all part of it, but really the shittiest part of jail is the lack of freedom. Yo, if somebody goes, do you want to get uh, raped or do you want to not be free? That's the quickest answer I'll ever give in my entire life. Like, <laughs> wait a minute. Not even a question. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it depends quick. how much whoa, time. Bro, you got you, listen, your mind going to be in prison. You, wait, would, wait, wait, you would prefer yeah. to get raped by an inmate whenever they wanted and have your freedom, or you would prefer to not have your freedom, but then there's no raping you? Oh, let me think about this. This shit feel like algebra. <laughs> Say that shit again now. What you say? Do you want this dicks in really your easy. ass or not? That's the the real Period. question. No, <laughs> yeah, no, like there's you, nothing no, else. No, 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 hey, no, no, do you, you want dicks in your ass, but you get to watch TV whenever you want? <laughs> but no, let's talk about it. Let's, let, no, but this is a good thing, right? What if somebody says, this is a good one. Somebody says, life in jail, uh, I get to penetrate your asshole. Life in jail. I'm already dead in my brain. You're already dead in your brain. You Versus one dying? penetration. It's a single penetration in and out. One pump of the piston. Yes, our life in prison. But it's one pump. Now, I ain't say one pump, man. You, you, however long it takes you to fuck on the regular, how long, however long it takes you to nut. Whatever your, whatever your personal average nut is, that's how long this person gets to penetrate you. Henny, Henny dick. <laughs> no, this is a good one. Forget to, to take the R word out of it. Hold on, Henny Dick. Henny Dick is tricky because my ass is so tight. I don't even think he's gonna get in. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be fully hard. You want to get in this ass? <laughs> y- y'all got you. Listen, y'all can't be this homophobic. Life in prison. Nah, I'm getting. Uh, I'm get getting a little, a little penetration. penetration. I'm getting no a little way. penetration, bro. It's a little Your penetration. Brain is in prison, you probably though. like that shit. Your brain whoa, is whoa, in prison. Whoa, 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 know that Taylor. about yourself. Taylor, chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. <laughs> hey, Taylor, Y'all chill out. Y'all spot is in the, in the eight hole. Yeah, they Y'all say crack, crack is really good, too, right? You know what I mean? Yo, Come girls always dead. say that crack shit. Crack is good. I'm not listening Whack, to that By the way, whack lying. What? Why am I lying? You been to jail. What Have you ever? I do anything. <laughs> so, so once you go to jail, you get plugged. <laughs> nah, hold up. Wax. Wax. Here's a good question. Have you ever hidden anything in your rectum while you were in jail? Never. You're a liar. Never. You ain't never boofed something? I, if I did, I'd probably put it right there, but like nothing went in. No, 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 no. You were boofing I stuff. I blunts and shit like did that. Did you hold Stop lying, bro. They told me. I made me a blunt. I was speaking to one of your homeboys. And, and, and listen, and How listen, long listen, was the blunt? Listen, listen. How long was the blunt? And it, and it was not even between my cheeks. It was like right inside of my balls right there. I just had to pull my balls. No, 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 no. That's not true. Hey, Wax, tell the true story. Tell the true story. I'm serious. I put I put the blunt right inside of my balls. Stop it, bro. The over. Say the one about when you were sick in jail. Remember, you were sick in jail. You were thrown up. <laughs> that never happened. You you were sick in jail, blown up, and you booped a Pepto Bismol to get it in there because they didn't want to give you never. no Pepto Bismol. You booped a whole what, Pepto Bismol. What am I having jail? Like, like, what? I, I, so you, I never needed nothing. You never put man. nothing in your cheeks. Never put nothing in my cheeks, bro. If I did, you just said you did. He's wait, a liar. Wait, wait, he listen, told me the I know, story. Before. I know. Listen, I know. I'm just I put saying, it through the bro. Front. I didn't put it through the back. Uh, I put it right okay, through the side of the front. Sitting down the car. Do people do it? Mad people boof. They always do that. That's okay, how they so why don't you just jail. boof a dick one time and then enough. you're free? Boof a dick Bruh. over boofing j- blunts yes, for the rest life of your in life. Prison. So, Wax, you telling me that you would take life in prison over letting somebody penetrate your butt? Listen, I'm going to tell you this. <laughs> God, God, God would give you peace in anything in life. I've seen people with no legs and they happy as hell. So you'll find peace inside of jail. Hold on. You don't There's think no they would take a dick mind. in the butt to have their legs? <laughs> exactly. You, can't, you think God won't give you some peace because you got a no, little penis no. penetration? I, I, I think about that shit every fucking day. Your brain is in prison. You <laughs> don't want you that shit. Like Why you would your brain be in prison? You what happened if you fi- nut? You could nut. You could, you could go in and then you could enjoy it. Now you're not in prison. That's you're in heaven. That's the worst thing. Wax lying. There's, no, there's, there's, nobody, no there's nobody on earth that's choosing Listen. life in prison over getting penetrated. By a penis. And I even, uh, when I was in there, I said, I wouldn't even do this to my worst enemy. I'd rather sit there and hit you up and do you a favor before I put you in jail. See what I'm saying? But I would rather go in there to get smashed. Bro, imagine getting smashed, bro. Hold on, so you rather go to jail <laughs> to get smashed? <laughs> I know, like, wait, what? what? Well, I'm not going to get smashed in jail. I ain't give a fuck. I'm doing push-ups Yo, until I get in there. It's guys bigger than you. I don't give a fuck. That's They'll their fault. They'll jump you. 
<laughs> you think, you think <laughs> I'm not my people? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> when I go in jail, believe me, just like when I did go, everybody, yo, what's up? Like, they already see exactly what time it is. Nope. They, you think that your people stay be like, yeah, he cute, yo. Look at the way he's in jail suit. You know yo, what time it is. I'm doing push ups because hey, fuck that. I'm wax. Already, That's playing. right. Turn them on, wax. Do the push ups. <laughs> Keep working <laughs> out. Getting Turn sweaty. Them on. Yeah. Turn them on. <laughs> Keep doing them push ups. Keep doing it, bro. Yo. We should have a brilliant idiot's poll. There's nobody that's going to take life in prison over getting penetrated by one that's, by wow. a penis one What time. about anything Any else? Any man. I don't care what you say. It depends. Well, right if you're here. old, if you're like 99, <laughs> then maybe I'll take jail. But if you have your whole life ahead of you, 100%, bro. 100%. How do you know what you got ahead of you? Nobody knows what they got ahead of them. So you're going to get smashed, and then next thing you know tomorrow, you get hit by a bus. I'd rather play my cards outside. Well, that's playing yeah. too many cards. Life, man. This is life, life in prison. Life in jail, wow. bro. I get it. I hear you. And then you're going to feel stupid because you're going to be in jail and around year 20, you're going to be like, man, fuck it. I'm getting a boyfriend. I ain't going to. <laughs> so then you, you, you be like, I could have just fucked somebody 20 Yo. years ago and stayed out of here. So I'm here's the question. i in my head or something. Here's the question, right? Knowing that once this sexual act is over, you have your freedom, right? Your brain not free. Are you going to try to do whatever it takes to make the sexual act go quicker like are you gonna <laughs> talk dirty a little like yeah you gonna throw it back you gonna throw that shit back yeah like honestly i might get a wax before huh i might get a wax before you know what i mean i might shave i'm, <laughs> I'm like what <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just want to go faster. So whatever gets him to nut quicker, That's I'm going to do. That's it. Right? That's it. So, you, so you think you're more attractive? You think you're more attractive because you shave? Oh, yeah, man. well, he don't have to look at this tuft of hair that's just covering my booty hole. You be doing tricks that your girl do Hell on you, yeah. on him. I get on top. Balls, <laughs> I get on top, bro. I'll be riding on top. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's switch to sexual act. Head. Yeah. Go Life in, in prison or head from a man? Not happening. I don't want no man to me. I, 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 I got one. I got one. I got one. He's not lying. He's I got lying. one. Life in prison or mm -hmm. there is a three inch dildo that is on a wall. And you just gotta back up. You just gotta well, back up. While, while juvenile back that ass up playing. That's it. Juvenile back that ass up. Is <laughs> I don't know juvenile, why y'all want this. Juvenile like, why, back that, why, why juvenile would y'all want that ass up? Gotta be playing <laughs> while, while Wax is just backing up. Listen, what if a guy just licks your ass? Whoa. Yo, Listen, Taylor, he, he, Taylor, that shit is mad guy. gay, yo. Taylor, whoa. why would you say that, Taylor? Whoa. Taylor, that shit is wild. Whoa. Whoa. He's out of control. Yo, you're out of control. We just talking Wax, about yeah. dicks in the butt, not licking, bro. That's the next level, Taylor. <laughs> he just said give head, though. So I'm just okay, saying, let's, like... Okay, one more time. Let's, uh, this is the last sexual act. Would you let a man whack? <laughs> nope. Lick your cheek. Not even put the tongue exactly, in your just ass. Lick your just cheek. lick one cheek so you don't go to jail for life. Why is this happening? <laughs> Why is this nigga <laughs> even around me? <laughs> if I'm about to go to jail, you think I want somebody come whisper in my ear like, yo, I lick your ass and we'd be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. Okay, so all right, listen, because you nasty. You in court. <laughs> <laughs> you in court. Yeah. Judge, like, I'm going to give you 30 years. Lawyer's like, come into the chamber real quick. I'm going to make you a deal. The judge lifts up his robe. He ain't wearing nothing. He's like, all you got to do is lick my left cheek. Just lick it one quick time, like how to do it on Christmas Story, lick the pole. <laughs> Turn it and up. you don't go to jail for life. Listen, bro, that's is wild shit. Like, why are you thinking about that? So now we're getting the idea. You see how we are? I'm just saying, like, shit starting listen, to work a little bit. Uh, hold on, hold on. You know, the ghost shit is shit. You can call it, you're fine. In the, in the show, he was about to give him head and he the dick out. Oh, Dave, little yeah. dicky? The negotiations. So listen. <laughs> All you got to do is lick the judge's left ass cheek All right. and you, you you skate. Two different things. You either got to lick the ass, ass cheek or <laughs> you you go on your knees and you just stand in front of him and then you keep your eyes closed and then he comes up to you and he just swings his dick and balls and just hits you in the face with it, kind of like a car wash. You know those things that are clean in the car. Yeah, I got nobody else to do this with. But, <laughs> but you're not... <laughs> <laughs> but you're not, you're not doing anything. You are completely neutral. Your eyes are closed. That's it. That's it. You're Which one would you do wash. for your freedom? 
You want automation. For my freedom, I, I don't think I, I would have to keep on pitching that in my face all the rest of my life. No. And I don't know when I'm going to die. What if you didn't man, know stop. until you opened your eyes? Like he was done and you opened your eyes. I'm not getting my... Yo, do you understand Wax. what you're We're saying? We're talking about life in prison. <laughs> I understand that. I'm life in prison with a clear mind. Yo, every single day I'm gonna wake up to that knowing that somebody smacked their balls and their dick in my face. <laughs> Man, you're looking at this all wrong. You're looking at this all every wrong. Every single morning. You're looking at this all every wrong. Every time you wash your face, you like, damn, man, I gotta get a new face. That, but guess what? I gotta get a new face. My perspective would be, <laughs> woo, outside is beautiful today. Okay? That's what's gonna keep you going. I can't, you ain't going to be proud of yourself waking up in jail for life and all you had to do was let somebody slap their balls on your face. <laughs> what are you saying? Like, <laughs> this thing about, happened. This that makes happened. no sense. And man. I know people went through that and I'm sorry I had to go through that because that's out of control. Bro. And people do it for worse. I feel less. I was going to say, so there's nothing y'all would, y'all always choose freedom. Nothing will make you want to go. <laughs> man, what is wrong? Why is this even, wh I can't even believe this is a tough choice for y'all. No, I'm not talking about even, any, I'm just saying in general, anything. There's what do you nothing mean? Nothing that will make y'all be like, I'm gonna choose life in prison. Life in prison. I'm you, not going. No, I'm not going to prison. No. For, no, no. Life in prison, bro. We talking about life. Do you know what life is? You still live. That's what life is. Living. What? <laughs> life is still living. You want to be poetic, mentally bro. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't living, wax. Li that's that's jail, more living than no, having your mind messed jail, up. Jail, jail is being alive yeah, and being dead. dead. I understand that, but you can Especially still be alive. Especially life. You're a dead man. You're a dead man walking. They might as well just bury you alive. They give right you life now, a guy escaped from jail. They looking for him right now. See what I'm saying? He ain't really escaped. They put him out. You know what I'm saying? They put him in the wrong pod or whatever the case is. And God might go and bless me and get me out of jail one day. But if I, even if I get out of jail, I got to know that I got somebody balls on my face before. That's kind of wild. Alex. Let me ask Alex, man. Alex. On, come Alex. on, Alex. Thank you. Alex. What's up? Serious question. All right. <laughs> Any of the scenarios we just said to you, penetration, getting head, letting somebody slap their balls on your face, any of those three are life in prison? I can't do life in prison. I'll just say I can't do life in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what are you saying? <laughs> Yo, I can't do, life, can't in do prison. life in prison. I bro. understand what you, I, I understand. I don't want to do life in prison either. NB, I mean, Alex is saying D, all of the above. No. All right. <laughs> Whatever's on the menu, he's eating, but he know what he's not eating, and that's life in prison. Okay? Wax, well, you like pussy a Let's lot. Get, I understand oh. that, but I'm saying my hand is not that bad. I'm saying I'm like, my, <laughs> I, I just had a fucking baby, yo. Two months, two months before the baby, and basically two months after the baby, four months. And like, now you you're not gonna no see pussy. your baby no more. Yeah, exactly. I just, my son can come see me. He ain't gonna never respect me. You, and, uh, and by bro, the way, you would curse. You would curse your son out worse than Kirk Franklin cursed his out. I would love to if see that. You did that for your son, and he disrespected you. That's what I'm trying to say. Charlotte, think. be honest. Could you ever tell your son everything, anything, if? He found out that you got smashed, bro. It depends. He depends how bad he, he disrespect me in the house one day. Go in your room. Like, I'm serious. Because, you, you know, you, <laughs> that's what fathers do, right? Fathers are whole shit over you. Like, I, I paid for this for you. I did this for yes. you, you <laughs> motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You might get so mad. Motherfucker, I took a dick for you. <laughs> right, but guess like, what? Wow. In the, the like, next Dad. argument, he going to tell everybody, yo, Dad, anybody listen to you. You took a dick. Yeah. Now, hey, what? man. I'm not that homophobic. Can you really well, give someone a cut? I ain't homophobic. I just don't want it. I'm in touch with my feminine side, dude. Well, I'm, I'm telling you right now. Back it up one and one. you can quote me on this. Y'all can chop this up, edit this it, circulate it on the internet, however y'all want to. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a dick before I go to jail for life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm letting you. But your mental taking, will be fucked No, up. it won't. Yeah, I'm telling you it won't. That's what meditation is for. Man, ain't much enough meditation in the world. You got to keep your eyes closed for the rest of your life. I'm then. going, I'm a, me and the therapist going to have a lot to talk about. A whole lot. Okay. And by the way, I'm not going to feel bad. Cause I'm gonna weigh it, I'm gonna weigh it out, right? Dick in the ass or life in prison. Yeah. Brain in prison. Brain in prison. That's what you're gonna yep, do. Nope, I'm fine. Listen, let's do some positively brilliant. What a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> <laughs> or should we pay some bills first pay and come bills, back to that? Please. Okay, let's pay let's take a break. We Please. didn't mean to come in that hot. Yo, yo, so everybody listen to this yo, podcast. Yo. We didn't mean to come in that yo, hot. Was mad funny. Okay. I got, we usually warm up to this. I got we bad comments a couple weeks ago. They were like, yo, why is it that every time Charlotte asks Andrew what he thought was positively brilliant this week, Schultz asked like he never heard that question before. <laughs> <laughs> 
listen. Let's pay some bills. Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of, okay? Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. And get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple to start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device, okay? Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SES tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash IDIOT with offer code IDIOT for 10% off your first purchase. Uh, you got any church announcements, Schultzy? Um, Yeah, man. The, the, the you back in these streets. Yeah, we back in these streets, man. It's been great to perform again, dude. Uh, thank you guys so much for selling out all the shows for the uh, first leg of the oh, tour. So we're going to add dope. some more. We're going to add some more cities, man. Just holler at me. Let me know what cities you want to come to, especially if your state is opening up. A lot of these places are opening up. I know a lot of you guys are asking for tickets to some of the places that are already sold out. Well, just pay attention because now these regulations are starting to loosen up. So, you know, they're going to increase capacity in some of these places. And um, once those tickets are available, I'll definitely let everybody know. <clears throat> oh, they out here. By the way, uh, remember I told y'all that, you know, when Biden Harris got into the White House, the whole narrative on COVID was going to change. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, even even though you still have the vaccine, it's still like they they want you to get the vaccine. You can still do everything you want to do. You just got a social distance. But we back out here, bro. We back, baby. The, Florida the already, is, already the has been back. The is open. Yeah, Atlanta really been back. Um, I want to tell everybody, uh, make sure you pre-order Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Build. It's out May 3rd. It's crazy that this year is flying by and we're Yo. already uh, mid-March. You know what I mean? But wow. you can pre-order Tamika's book wherever you buy uh, books now. And uh, pre-order Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters. Okay, go get some of that 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 yimmy ya energy in your life. That's out August 3rd, but it's available uh, for pre-order wherever you buy books right um, now. I got something positively brilliant. Talk to me. We had Alex Jones on a podcast. Wild boy. How does Alex smell? Uh, <laughs> great. Great. Like no, the, seriously. I, I, I really, I don't know why I wonder how he smells. Great. Yeah, fresh. Okay. I mean, by the end of it, it was very much like Jameson, but in the beginning, just just uh, very fresh. He gets fucked up. My man was going for it, dude. <laughs> he he was going for it. Up. And, Did he tell uh, y'all that beforehand, or he just walked in and saw the liquor and was like, pour up? Yeah, I think it was more like, saw the liquor, pour up, let's get busy, and let's get down to it. And that guy just, wow, man. I mean, absolutely fucking hysterical. Probably okay. one of the funniest podcasts I've ever been a part of. I understand he's a very polarizing figure for good reason, but um, he everybody is. He said what I thought. He said what I thought was the best argument that I've ever heard for reparations. Okay. He said because we asked him. Alex asked him. He's like, "How do you feel about reparations?" He's like, "He's like, I support it, but I think it should come from the businesses that profited off of slavery and." the businesses that profited off of the disenfranchisement of black people. So if there's a specific business, right, that you know was making money off of uh, basically selling this, like some of these banks probably were the ones holding the mortgages. You basically took out a mortgage to like buy a human being. Like if those banks are still around today, if those banks are Bank of America and they made tons of money off it, well, then pay the fuck up. Because he brought an interesting point. He goes, if you're some poor white guy, that works at fucking, you know, some diner in the middle of Arkansas. And then people are going, yo, you're privileged. You need to start paying some of your money to black people. They're like, I didn't have anything to do with that. My life sucks. Why do I got to start paying? But these billion dollar corporations that got some of them fucking billions from enslaving black people, they should pay up. I don't think that white guy's going to be mad at that. Yeah. I mean, Alex Jones is right, but that's always been the argument like people have always said that that's always been like an age-old thing that people said any any corporation company that is you know profited directly off slavery there was even a they had a whole list if you google it there's a whole list of institutions that exist now that directly benefited from slavery and most people that fight for reparations have been saying yeah tax those corporations i mean that's what that's something ti was out there 
championing uh, the year before. I don't know if it was last year, maybe early last year, year before last. You know, even Robert Smith now with his 2% plan where he wants these corporations and institutions to give 2% of their net income per year to different black organizations. But that's always, that's, that's always been a thing. He's, he's absolutely right with that. I just thought it was a really interesting argument. I've never heard about specifically the businesses that profited off of it because oh, yeah. that's accountability 101. I think the biggest issue people have with- Yeah, see, it's right here. 15 I know, I believe corporations you. I believe you. I'm just saying. From I think the Lehman biggest, Brothers, it, yeah. Adna Inc., J.P. Morgan Chase, New York Life. Yeah. All I'm saying yeah, is, I, I mean, think the biggest issue white America has with reparations is, yo, I didn't do it, and I had nothing to do with it. So why am I paying money when I might not be well, successful right your now? Ancestor. Well, because yeah. the ramifications of slavery are still being felt today. Yeah, but you that that saying? wasn't a choice by those people. Those businesses that are still around today chose to profit off of it, and then they use 100%. those profits to build uh -huh. those businesses. So it's like, well, fuck them. Yeah, but all white people benefit off that caste system that was created. You know what I'm saying? Even when people talk about the racial wealth gap in America, well, there probably wouldn't have been a racial wealth gap if there wasn't 400 years of free labor given. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's, and when the slavery was no over, question. the slaves didn't get compensated, but the slave masters did. There's which no is yet question. another example of America always dumping money into the wrong fucking shit. There's no question, 100% true, but it wasn't something they asked for, right? It's not, it's not something that, and then some people, I'm sure, asked for racist laws, and some people have been fighting for racist laws and racist policies, 100%. But some white guy that just like moved here from fucking Russia in the year 1987 is like, dude, I, I don't even, I just met black people for the first time when I got here. They're not so going to be, what I'm trying to talk about is the most practical way to get the money. The yeah, most but you know what you tell that white person? Say what? You know what you tell that white person who just moved here? What? Mind your business. <laughs> like, <laughs> this don't got nothing to do with you. I'm not, I, this is between us and the American government. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, he really can't like, do nothing anyway. I, I would tell the white dude from Russia, look, dig into your lineage. All right, find you a cause, find you a reason that you're old and right. get your money. Because nine times out of ten, you are probably owed something yeah. from this from this country. Right. More than likely. I'm just saying, so would, like, there's two ways to go about this. There's the emotional way to go about this, and you can't make the argument against racism. You, there's, there's no argument against racism. There's no argument that white people have profited from racism. Every single white person. Like, you just can't. Th nobody could argue that. But it's unrealistic to get the support from all these poor whites, especially in a time where they're probably at well, their most poor. Well, why do we need poor. support from poor whites? Well, okay. this is since, democracy, since, right? There's, so, like, there's only need... one. There's only one person that's ever leaned into support from poor whites, and that was Donald Trump. Like, what yeah. are the poor whites gonna have to do with this situation? Can't do nothing anyway. They, well, you, it's not like they got to vote on reparations. Yeah, well, they vote for the people who vote on reparations, and they might not support a vote for reparations if it makes them feel as if some of their money is going to be going in somebody else's pockets for something that they don't have anything to do. I'm telling you, like, the reason why these think tanks exist in D.C. is because they test the temperature of different theories right and mm -hmm. the whole job is to go how do people react to this okay they're reacting to this poorly so let's switch the name of it right the estate tax is a way better name than the death tax for the same thing but people go wait a minute why should i pay taxes on my dad dying that's not fair but estate tax is well i don't have an estate yeah you should tax those rich people who have estates so, so, so instead of reparations, you think you should, I mean, I, and I, I always say, I always say economic equity packages. I think right? the biggest but, but hurdle think, is just getting, is, is the accountability thing. The white person that feels like they're completely disconnected from what happened to black people, I don't think they're going to want to feel as if they're contributing money, especially if they're struggling. But the white person that sees these billion dollar corporations that they also feel fucked by is going to go, hey, we get to stick it to them? Well, fuck yeah, stick it to them. Well that's, well, that's why the study is important, right? Because the whole study, the whole HR 40 study is going to, you know, factor in who profited off slavery, mm -hmm. how slavery is still impacting us today, how we can come up with a fair, you know, economic equity package, which by the way, there is no fair economic equity package because you really can't put a price on, right. on what happened to, to, to slaves in this country. So it's like, I personally don't think that reparations is ever going to come from the government. I think it's only going to come from these corporations. When you see somebody like, I think it was J.P. Morgan Chase, who's, who, who just committed to giving $10 billion to, 
to black women organizations over the next 10 years? I think it was, Google that real oh. quick, Taylor. I think it was, this just came out like last week. But they, they, they said they're giving $10 billion over the next 10 years to black organizations. And when you see the NBA or the NFL, you know, commit a certain amount of money. And when you see so, these corporations that are doing Robert Smith's 2% plan, I think it's only going to come from corporations. I don't think the American government will Goldman, ever. Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. That's what it was. I wouldn't, I never, I, I don't think the government is ever going to say, yo, here's reparations for black people, regardless of who's with it. I mean, we live in a country where yesterday, literally, literally yesterday in Tennessee, they're voting on whether or not to abolish slavery because slavery is still legal in the state constitution. And four Republican senators in Tennessee voted against it. And one of the guys said... <laughs> There's only two senators Bur per state. <clears throat> what do you mean? Every state has two senators. No, nah, that can't be the case, because four Republican senators in Tennessee voted against it yesterday. Are they like... Oh, this is state. This is state now. Oh, this is state senators. This isn't state. like this is in the Tennessee. Senate as we know it. This isn't, you know, okay. Yeah, this, this, is, is, this, this is in the, in the state constitution in Tennessee. Right, right, right. So the four senators voted against it. One of the dudes said, I mean, there's really no need to vote against this because it's not real. Uh, slavery was, was fake. It was a false yeah. history of slavery. It's like, you think, you think they're going to ever give you reparations if they won't even admit slavery was real? It was <laughs> like, a game. Like, come on, man. It never happened. It's like, you, 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 I, I, I literally just uh, uh, sent this, right? I sent this to a friend. I literally just sent this. This is, about, this is mental health. A tip for mental health. Learn to distinguish who deserves an explanation, who deserves one answer, and who deserves absolutely nothing. Mm. Imagine having a conversation with reparations uh, to a guy who doesn't even believe slavery was real and doesn't even want to vote to abolish slavery. You think that conversation will get anywhere, Schultz? No. And that's, but those are the people who are in charge of legislation. Yeah, you can't so, reason with someone who never used reason to come to their conclusion. Very true. Very true. So I, I personally think reparations is only going, it's only going to come from corporations. And it's not going to ever be called reparations, right? It's just going to be people who are in these positions of power who have seen the, the, the injustice that has happened to black people in this country. And they're deciding to do the right thing. Whether it's Goldman yeah. Sachs saying we're going to invest $10 billion here or, you know, another company saying we're going to invest this into the black community. Or we're going to invest this in the black organizations. Or we're going to, you know, give equity to black people, you know, when they come to our companies. That's the only way I think it's ever going to get on a, even get close to what we would call reparations. But that's mm. why I call it economic equity packages. Mm. But Alex, Alex isn't Alex isn't wrong at all because I yeah. think that's the only place it's gonna come from. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What did he say? What else interesting did he say? Oh God, a lot of things, bro. He's a wild motherfucker. He was talking about interdimensional beings. He was talking about. Uh, you Is know. he a character? Yeah. Does he really believe this shit? I told him I was like, dude, just say you're a comedian. Like you, <laughs> I, I said, <laughs> if you had said you were a comedian fucking years ago, nobody would care. Like, you just say wild shit. That's what comedians do for a living. But the fact mm -hmm. that you position yourself as a journalist, you're going to get the expectations of a journalist. It's that simple. You're asking for those expectations. But um, I think Mark even asked him, he's like, should your audience take everything you say seriously? And he was like, no. <laughs> so, I feel like that with everybody, though. Yeah. I think that's the problem with the society we live in now. We take everything too fucking seriously. Yeah. yeah. That's why sarcasm is dead. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you got to, like, like that quote I just at, I read, it's like, yo, you got to know what to give your energy to. Does everything deserve a response? Does everything yeah. deserve outrage? Mm. Yeah. No, that's a good ass point. About that at home. What did you yeah, think about the, the uh, Cardi B thing with Candace? And I think Candace is incredible at stirring up waters to catch fish. Yeah. And it, it, and, Everybody, all of y'all fall for it. Don't just say Cardi. Everybody mm -hmm. falls for it. Candace yeah. has a way no, of riling people up. It's, and, and it's, it's you, know, you got to respect people like that. You know what I'm saying? Because truthfully, literally, if you just ignored her, there would be nothing there. The problem is because she's a black woman talking. Who cares? Yeah. Hey. Ain't I think shock already. Yeah. this is one of those weird situations where I think Cardi used Candace. Talk to me. 
Nobody's watching the Grammys. Nobody's watching the Emmys. Nobody's watching any of these shows anymore. Like, I don't even know if they're streaming or if they're on a regular television channel. I have no fucking clue. Grammys was good this year, but uh, it had the lowest ratings ever. Of course, nobody's watching, right? So, Ooh. But it's also, too, because people watch on so many different devices. But still, nobody's watching. just saw that one. Instantly. So the thing, with, the thing with um, Cardi is, Candace knows she has a couple buttons that she can push that's going to rile things up, right? It's like, who does her audience hate? Okay, Cardi B is one of the people her audience hates because mm -hmm. her audience sees Cardi as this girl who's like leaning into like liberal leftist politics, but has no clue what she's talking about. That's how they feel about Cardi, right? So they think that mm -hmm. she's a hypocrite. You know, she's so liberal when it counts for an election, but the way that she actually lives her life, it doesn't seem that liberal. So they like to poke out the fucking hypocrisy, right? So she knows the button to push. But then I'm thinking Cardi's like, oh, I could stir up a little internet beef with this girl. My fans are going to think I dunked all over her and everybody else is going to go watch the Grammy performance because of the Twitter beef that we've started up. I didn't watch that video until there was this beef and I wouldn't have watched the video without the beef. So I'm on some part. Yeah, I'm like, Instagram. is Candace bullying Cardi or is Cardi playing the what is the Ali shit? The rope well, dope? Well, I, I think what, one thing about Cardi, Cardi is not letting you talk about her regardless of who you are. Right. You know what I'm saying? Cardi will get at, Cardi gets that regular everyday Twitter people who got something to say about her. You know what I'm saying? Right. So she wasn't going to let Candace slide. Um, I don't think, I don't think Cardi was using Candace, but I mean, Candace said what she said on Fox News with Tucker Carlson. So I would, yeah. <clears throat> I would think that, you know, Candace was using the Cardi Meg situation and the Grammys more so than you know, Cardi, because Cardi was just responding. Yeah. But I mean, I, I, I think it, it, it's, it's so much yeah. hypocrisy, right? Because mm -hmm. it's like, yo, you can't really get mad at Cardi for a song like WAP and say Cardi is, you know, making young girls disrespect themselves or sending the wrong message to young girls. You, you supported Donald Trump. Mr. I mean, grab him by the pussy. <laughs> like, I guess, I guess I, like, we were having this combo on, on, uh, on flagrant, but like, I guess what I'm curious about also is that are you for censorship or against it, Candace? Because mm, that's a good point, right? The second anybody says something, that's like a joke or, or, or not even a joke, an opinion that could be considered offensive. You're like, the liberals just want to cancel. The liberals just want to shut people down. The liberals just want to censor everything. And the second yeah. Cardi acts in a way that you don't like, you're trying to censor it. So what can be censored and what can't be censored? If you are against censorship, you're against censoring the things you don't like as well. If you're just against censoring the things you like and for censoring things you don't, you're no different than the people that you hate. I agree with you, but I also wonder too if Candace is looking at it like, all right, this is free speech, right? So Cardi's allowed to do what she did on stage. But I'm allowed to come out and say, I didn't like that. I'm allowed to come yeah. out and say, that's not the way you should move as a woman, right? You that's know a good mean? point. That, so may, yeah, so maybe, maybe that's how she's looking at it. So I'm maybe it. misrepresenting I, her point. Maybe she's saying that she, she's not saying she shouldn't be allowed to do it, but she's being critical of the thing she's doing. Oh, of the act. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, I mean, that's go. what I read from it. From what I heard her saying on Tucker Carlson, she was just saying like, that's not how you're supposed to move. If you're a woman, you're sending the wrong message to young girls, yada, yada, yada. But Did once you see the tweet going? Huh? Y'all see the tweets back and forth? No, I didn't see none of the tweets back and forth. Oh, uh, the tweets Cardi, are funny. She added on uh, what's Melania, or whatever, and said that she gets she um got inspired because of her. And then she, that she was a good point. She said, "Yeah, why don't you have the same though. energy for Melania?" Right? Melania yeah. Yeah. was yeah. naked in magazine. Melania says, "Well, she grew up, and like that's not her anymore." Cardi's twenty something. Yeah, she's <laughs> seventy. <laughs> like, yeah. Cardi's twenty something years old. Yeah, give her a second. She's 20 something years old. By the way, her performance wasn't, I'm, I'm different. I grew up in my neck, my back, lick my pussy and my ass yeah. crack era. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I grew up yeah. with little Kim saying, I used to be scared of the dick, now I put lips on the shit, handle it like a real bit. Like, WAP is yeah. tame. Yo, you no, know what's crazy? You want little 13. girls to see it though? If I see my what? niece and them seeing, I'm like, okay, ah, I get away from all these other songs like that too like yo i get it listen doing. everybody gonna do their thing but if i see my little niece in the game what the fuck y'all doing oh, get over here what about your, give what, the wop to someone what about your niece listening to you <laughs> exactly listen, i don't want them to every but time they tell but, me they're doing it i'd be upset no, like don't you tell no, my no, sisters no, and them you're being a hypocrite right doing it. Yo, yo, mama, that's the thing listen to it we need to stop calling people out for being hypocrites you should be a hypocrite 
If you're not well, a hypocrite, you're leading a miserable life, bro. Literally. Being a hypocrite <laughs> is the shit. I love being a hypocrite. Remember, I was and like, don't I leave New York. Hypocrite. It just and then the second I left New York, I came down to Miami. It was 80 degrees today. I was walking around outside like a hypocrite feeling great. Be a hypocrite, bro. <laughs> Be a hypocrite. Like, stop trying to live this fucking life to this specific code. Fuck all that. Be a human you being. Them, you're going to be flawed. But, but, but I'll tell you the difference, Schultz. You know you're being a hypocrite. You're self-aware. Don't uh, be one of these people who contradict themselves, be a hypocrite, and then act like, but I never thought like that to begin with. But how am I being a hypocrite? You, because you get on the podcast and talk about all, you, you talk about women, women you fucked. Exactly. So your niece is here that and your niece like, oh, that's the that's kind of women true. Uncle Wax. Yeah, like. that's not true. That's if another thing. To the podcast, Double standard. If you, actually, if you actually listen to the podcast, I always tell you, I don't like girls who have more than one penis a year. I always true, talk about but you're being, being a hypocrite with that. Nobody I'm cares about this, girl. man. That's your yeah. service. Wax, wax, wax. Do that wax. No your actions Stop. say otherwise. I don't, I don't do you're that explaining. No more. Why are you explaining yourself? Right. You, you're losing. Say you believe in double standards and you're a hypocrite. I definitely do definitely all this explaining for no reason. Do. You're wasting your breath explaining. You say, I believe in double standards. Women believe in double standards. I don't want my little nieces doing that. I don't want them to be out there thinking that's the right way to act. But they're going to do it eventually. They're going to do it So you don't want your nieces having sex? Uh, at not at the wrong time. No, they're gonna eventually do it. Yes, but have it the right. If I got my Wax. young nieces, like I said, Wax. I'm not talking about my older nieces. My younger nieces, I don't want them to think that's the right thing to do, and they be over there whopping on these fucking young boys out here. What, you, what do you call young? I'm said, talking about. I got nieces from two to twenty. But Relax. Isn't that also you ain't, you ain't gonna get married soon. You I, I I ain't had no choice. My shit. How got old was the girl? I don't know. What you mean? You don't know? <laughs> it's older How than old me. Was the girl? I was young as hell. But Wax, you're forgetting the parents are raising the children, not Cardi. She's not raising the children. I understand. Like that. That's, that's not why true I said either, me. That's why nah, I said I give me influence, it. but I'm just saying. Influence. So it, uh, my, I, I got people that influence me way more than my mom and dad. 100%. <laughs> you know, I understand that, but respect. they can't. What were you going to say, Andrew? No, I said, no, that's a good point. We get influenced by these people. People make millions of dollars because they're influential, right? They can get that's us right. to wear sneakers. They can get us to wear clothes. They can get us to get certain tattoos. Like, I That's mean, right. look at the uh -huh. fucking Kardashians. They make women change the way their face looks. Every Literally. one of these girls that gets plastic surgery gets plastic surgery to look like a Kardashian. So clearly people have influence over us. It's not just our parents. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But what I'm trying to tell you, Wax, is just be like, yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I don't want any girl that I know and care about fucking anybody. And that's just what it is. Period. Like, it's Man, a beautiful wish, place to I live. I agree with you, Schultz. No, I agree with you. You know, Nikki, right. Nikki Bro, Giovanni said that if you... If you if you if you look back on old shit you did or old shit you said and you haven't contradicted yourself, you haven't grown. Yeah, bro. She said that Nikki Giovanni said that verbatim. And I I, I, I totally agree with that. But I do want some consistency. But I need Yeah, I need I'm gonna be bit. consistently hypocritical. They call me Hippocrates, bro. <laughs> Listen, I, I never ever I always said that I never wanted my young nieces and nobody to have to be doing the stuff that I was out there doing. Yeah, I get it. Yes, do at it. a young age, of course, but at the end of the day, I ain't got no, can't. I got nothing to do with you getting older. It's, I got nothing to do with that. It's so much hypocrisy, and it's hypocrisy on both sides. I mean, even if you look at what's happening with Joe Biden and the kids at the border, he's not handling that shit no better than Trump did. Come on, but the bro. media doesn't talk about it the way they talked about it with Trump. They ain't like you know Trump. what I mean? They like Trump had a zero tolerance policy. Joe Biden says, don't come here. <laughs> what's the <laughs> fucking difference? <laughs> like, 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 what's the difference? Am I tripping? He was, wanted uh, them, though. Same thing with Cuomo and Biden. It's like, yeah. Cuomo, we need you to yeah. resign. Biden. You had seven women that said you did inappropriate stuff to them. Biden had eight. What? I'm trying, I'm, I'm just, I'm, if somebody can tell me the difference, just tell me the difference. Like, I'm, there's just no consistency. Everybody's. Hypocrite. Yo, and that's fine. That's why you can't be in politics, man. Because in, if you're in politics, you're not supposed to be a hypocrite. And then you can't be an actual real person. But if you're an actual real yeah. person, you'd be like, yo, I did that shit. It is what it is. Shit fell right in the moment, you know? So yeah. the, the thing about a, the, the hypocrisy, yeah. like hypocr hypocrisy, and like, <laughs> yeah, double standards and that kind of shit is like, everybody's cool with double standards until it affects them. You know what I mean? Like women, yeah. women hate double standards until the check comes and all of a sudden uh -huh. double standards <laughs> or, or, is completely or reasonable. You. <laughs> That's fine. Right? Yeah. So no, it's like, I'm with yeah. you. I'm with you. Yeah. Everybody got our, why, why don't we stop acting? Like literally there's an entire religion called Christianity own. that's built around knowing we're all hypocrites. They give us the rules of how we should live. <laughs> and Jesus is like, yo, by the way, I know you're going to fuck up. 
I know you're gonna fuck up. <laughs> and I forgive you for doing what you're about to do. And then we're like, we're not gonna fuck up. And then we do, we're like, yo, my bad. He's like, I know, bruh. I know. <laughs> but you definitely get better because you you feel like he's watching you. So at least you know that. Listen, I'm gonna definitely get better. I damn sure did. And a lot of things I didn't do because of the man upstairs is watching me. So, hey, bro. How many tries anything. did it take though? Again, he gave he gave okay. me he gave mercy on me. He could have killed me a long time ago. That's why you give unlimited forgiveness. For, it's like that's like breadsticks at Olive Garden, baby. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like God knew that we had weaknesses. He we, he knew Amen. that you know sure. we were gonna make mistakes. But man, it, but this is the part that's really confusing, right? If you're just sitting back on the outside looking in, how do you define right and wrong based off media? Based how I feel good. If do I feel good? <laughs> do I feel good? Do I feel good? That's, that's right. Is. Do I feel bad? That's wrong. Simple. Listen, do you think Governor Cuomo is confused as fuck right now? <laughs> no, seriously, because he's sitting back and they're like, we just had Donald Trump as president. Oh, yeah. Joe Biden won the White House, but y'all want me to resign? Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Are you 100% right? There's you 100% no right. Oh, wow. I'm just saying and there's no uniform. There's no standard. Like, what's the standard? There's no standard, like bro. Here's the deal. If those restaurants in New York City were open to at least 50% capacity, I would say, I don't believe any of those girls. But the fact that he closed New York, they seem very credible to me, bro. <laughs> they seem very credible. Every one of them should seem credible because it affects my life. My life is affected. Me, me, me. It's all about me. By the way, that's really what it is. It, it is. is. The, reason, the reason they didn't hold a Joe Biden to that standard, because they wanted Joe Biden to win the presidency. Oh. And by the way, that's fine. But just admit the hypocrisy. Yeah. The reason nobody called out Trump because Trump was in power. They called they, the people that didn't like Trump was using it against him to try to get him out of power. Mm -hmm. The people that supported him was like, we're not nah, nah, ignore that. You yep, know what I mean? Don't like, care about come that. on. We all know mm -hmm. that. It's all about self-interest, man. That's and it. If, if if we can admit that, the world would be a better place. But hey. once again, it hey. still doesn't show you what's right and what's wrong because there's no standard to any of this shit. Charlemagne, I got a pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what hypocrisy gave me. Hypocrisy gave me a pool, a canal, a beautiful house, a barbecue. I don't know how to use. Hypocrisy is beautiful. I don't, even, I don't even know it if got I call me it a, hypocrisy Charlamagne, show. Charlamagne, it got me a Netflix special. Tell me when yeah. hypocrisy hasn't served me well. Here's the thing. I, I, wouldn't call, I wouldn't call what you did. I wouldn't call that hypocrisy. I would call it contradiction. But it's a good contradiction because you got new information. You're like, you know what? Fuck this New York shit. But then you said... Let's go to Miami for the weekend. Then you was like, you know what? Fuck this New York shit. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> I'm staying in Miami because you felt that sun. Yeah. I felt that sun, and bro. Way, and then Cuomo wouldn't let the city open. De Blasio wouldn't let the city open. To your point, somebody called uh, the radio Club. station. Day, somebody called the Breakfast Club and they actually were on Cuomo's side. And they was like, you know, all of these politicians are saying Cuomo should resign. Ask New Yorkers. And this, this, he actually liked Cuomo, though. I forgot the reasons he said he liked Cuomo. He was like, I, he was like, ask us if we want him to resign. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. why? Like, y'all don't. People who voted, man. We don't care about what y'all got to say. Mm -hmm. You know why? But, but to, to that guy's point, he probably don't care what they got to say because he know that it has nothing to do with what Cuomo was actually accused of. It's something else going on that we don't know about that they on Cuomo's ass for because oh, there's no way in hell you know what you it is. bypass the ten thousand or eight thousand older people that had COVID that he didn't even report? Yeah. Bro, you, it's the, you lied about that? It's the okie it doke, bro. You bury a story with a more compelling story. So he lies about 10,000 old people getting murked in these old people, uh, people homes because of his decisions. He just lies about it, right? And then you bring out a story that he could rebound from, right? Oh, mm -hmm. uh, he was inappropriate with some of his aides, this, that, the other. It's not going to come out that it's anything too crazy. Maybe it will, who knows? But like, he said things that are inappropriate, blah, 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 right? Yeah. Same thing would happen with the royal family, right? Literally, Prince Andrew is Epstein's best friend, okay? There's pictures really? with him and underage girls. He's clearly been yeah. to the island. They clearly went to his house in New really? York. Really? Of course. This is I Prince. never saw that. I don't know. That's the thing. And what do they bury that story wow. with? Oh, Meghan Markle, we're going to say that the, the kid was too dark and we didn't like the fucking kid. It's, get the, it's a, a nonsense story. Talk about how you're protecting a fucking pedophile in the goddamn uh, Buckingham Palace. Or actually, I don't even know wow. where Prince Andrew lives.
But it's the same shit. You kill a story with another story, bro. Yeah, wow. and it's so weird. It's it's like yo, the 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 older people that Cuomo didn't report that died. That story is not even a B story, a C story. It's like a little byline sometimes in people's articles. And it's like that's what you could actually nail him on. Mm -hmm. That's Cuomo what you could actually this. get him out here. With. Cuomo is absolutely loving this, bro. But they can't let that story go because there's probably a bunch of other like Democrat governors that made the same decision and they'd be liable as well. So if that yeah. story goes, then it just kind of trickles down and the Democrats, the you know, Democratic institution and Republican institution would do the exact same fucking thing if they were in yeah. the same position. So don't get me wrong. But uh, but they're just like, yeah, we can't let that story leak. So just say that uh, he's inappropriate with chicks. It's brilliant. I think that's the I think what you said is is, is true, right? Like you know, everybody got to lean into their own hypocrisy. But I think that if, if everybody just like stop pointing fingers, right? It's literally like I'm sitting here smoking a blunt and I'm like, yo, you need to stop smoking weed, yo. Y'all mm -hmm. see this dude over here smoking weed, yo. This guy's smoking mm -hmm. weed. He shouldn't be smoking weed. I'm over here smoking too. Like everybody got some shit with them. And by the way, the same shit. So I can't look at your shit and say your shit is bad, but my shit is acceptable. Either everybody mind they fucking business, all right? Or we got to have one set standard for yeah, everybody. If business. not, everybody shut the fuck up and yeah. move on with your lives, man. Because this shit is really getting confusing. Unless it directly affect you. That's the only reason why I say that about my nieces. I know that's going to directly affect me if anything happens. Other than that, I really don't give a fuck. What's yeah. going to but you what? would live, you, you would, um, in life. you would feel, you would feel better. And I, I bet you, you do feel better now knowing that you're not dogging women out the way you used to. Um, I mean, I never really dog women out. Oh, I had sex oh, with them. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So slow down. I, all thing I didn't <laughs> do is commit to women. All thing I didn't do is commit to them. I didn't do nothing crazy to women. I had sex with them. I didn't commit to them. Max, that's the worst. Discussion. What did Many I do? Times. Didn't no other guy. You did didn't even know them. their names. Okay. That's what I'm saying. That's the, if that's the worst thing you I did, I, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a victim. Huh? Didn't you put your boot on, your, on their neck That's and drown them in water? It was having, that was a part of sex. What, what are you talking fuck? about? It wasn't, it wasn't of, like, what about like ice cubes? Bay, bro. What about the ice cubes in their butt? <laughs> I, I, that's what I'm saying. You we gotta close Guantanamo kinky. Bay. That, listen, that was kinky stuff back in the day that people do. It wasn't like, oh, she, no, don't put your Tim on I my head. Put, no, I ain't girls? never put my foot uh -huh. on nobody. You never lied to any of the girls? Uh, when I was young, growing up is trying to lie to a girl, make her think that you like her just so you can have sex with her. I this this is new so shit that wrong. girls start liking me. Every every guy had to lie to try to get a girl. You never try to oh I, I you never lie to a girl so that you me, like her. Excuse me, that's not wrong. We're talking no, about what's I really wrong liked right, though. You what did? type of lies yeah, would you was, tell, Wax? That's what I was trying to get with her. What, uh, what type I mean, of lies? Yeah, what the lies? regular the regular lies. Every every man tell her, act like you like her. Um, what's acting like you like her. Just. Reading their Bible scriptures every night. <laughs> no. Having your mama pray for her. I wouldn't go that far. Wax don't play fair. Wax full of shit. Wax used to have his mama <laughs> pray for girls. That's going a bit too no, far, yo. Man. Yes, it is, man. You mama. know your mama a prayer warrior, yo. We understand that. And you that. got your mama praying for these girls. That's fucked up, Wax. They get in touch with my mom. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Fuck him. Just kill me. So you think, hold, so on. Good, man. hold on. So you really yeah. think that I made these girls pray in my mind and try to bait them to give me some pussy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You are crazy. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yo, yes. Wax, Wax is absolutely hilarious, bro, because yes. what you just said, this is what it sounded like. We just said, wait, so you really thought I bought this Lamborghini so girls would be attracted to me and they would want to have sex with me? Like, <laughs> wait, 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 huh? Yo, like, I, I never baited girls. When I was young, we all lied and made a girl think that we they, we liked them so much. When they get, we got the pussy, Not I me. ran out of houses and stuff. Maybe you like the girls. I, I, I really did. Pussy. Every girl I ever tried to get no. what I liked. Why? Do you think that's wrong or no, wrong or not? When I was real young, you can't count that shit. We talking Why? about when it when it actually supposed to count. No, your niece you, age. Yes, that's where you got to start because you don't want your nieces to be in that same situation. Well, <laughs> you I, Lord have mercy. <laughs> your niece's age for real. Well, hopefully they don't sit there and get caught up in that type of shit because I talk to them all the time. Man. Karma's a motherfucker, it yo. Is, Karma is, is a the, motherfucker, dude. The things you try it to is. fight against the most is really what happens, yo. Jesus. <laughs> Listen, thank God I never disrespected and did nothing wild, crazy to girls. I did. Thanks. Can I say something about men real quick, yeah. man? This is what men got to stop doing. Yeah. And you tell me the worst thing. And I too. said this on Bill Maher the other night. We got to stop listening to each other about what all of this shit is. Whether mm. it's sexual harassment, What's inappropriate? Right, as long as we listen to each other, 
This you shit gonna wrong. continue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Stop listening to us. We don't know what the fuck we talking about. We clearly have been getting this shit wrong for a long no, you're right. time. You're right. I'm not listening to no man about what sexual harassment is or what about it being inappropriate is. If a woman tell me that's inappropriate, I'm taking her word for it. That's that. There's nothing that you can really do. No. That's a double standard. That's not a double fucking standard. I don't Shut think up. that's. A, I don't think that's. How? A double, I don't, Yo, how right are you going to tell wait, me? Wait, wait, though, I'm gonna tell hold you on, that. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, how are you going to tell me what a double standard is? Go, go ahead. Keep that face too. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you this. You, you know how I many a girl could sit there? If I sit there and say, "Hey, how do you, you do it to a girl or whatever?" and she's like, "Oh, I feel, you feel creepier." That's 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 going to be a sexual harassment, right? If I if she said that to me and I say that, everybody gonna look at me like I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, like, but it's the way you wear your pants. Up. It's the way you wear your pants. Nah, for real. Zoom in so on the pants. Look, I, <laughs> that, that shit do look creepy, man. He got his shit up like this. He got his balls out. He's like, hi, yeah. how you doing? It's like, come on, man. That shit is a little threatening, Wax. All right, here's my question. <laughs> a little threatening, yo. A little dis- let me say it is, though. Here's my question. Double standard. How do you, how do you know it's, it's sexual harassment? One, how you know because it's harassment? It. Like my because goal isn't her, isn't to harass. Like intention I'm not, is important, but intention doesn't matter once she says once she say you it, made me over. uncomfortable. But Period. like for intention example, let's say she's like, this guy was sexually harassing me. He like wouldn't stop. Like he's trying to talk to me. He's knocking on my door. Blah blah. blah. And then they go to me, and I'm like, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Like I just want her to go to heaven. <laughs> like I, I don't. <laughs> like I, I literally don't want that's her to that's spend that's eternity in hell. Harassment. That's yeah. spiritual harassment. But, but I'm spiritual, sure that happens to your, people. Stop Spiritually pushing your harassing. God on me, Alex. I mean, show, stop pushing your God on me. Yeah. This is spiritual harassment. But, 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 but it really happens because, listen, a, a dude was trying to tell me that my um, thing was open, and I'm thinking that he was trying to fight me. So I'm over here putting my middle finger up. He's trying to speed up and let me know my uh, gas tank is open. Yeah. And I'm over here like, fuck you, and I pull to the side of the road. Like, what's up? Like, yo, okay, your what, gas tank is open. What if it was your fly? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> the guy was like, yo, your fly's open, yo. And, yo. And maybe, maybe yo, I, yo, your dick's out. What if out. the dude's like, yo, punching. yo, I can suck that? <laughs> <laughs> yo, what if the dude's like, yo, yo, I can suck that? Yo, yo, yo. I'm trying, I'm trying hey, to say. Is that free? <laughs> that's like, is, this a, is that a sample pack? <laughs> but, but even more than that, if, if I do got my Why fly open. Why you got to hang it out? If I do got my fly open and he pointing at my dick, I might think that he's trying to point at my dick. I don't know it. No, what if you in the village? What if you're in Atlanta somewhere? You know what I'm saying? Okay, perfect example. Remember that time we ended up in that gay party, guys? Yeah. After the MTV Awards? Yeah. What if we were in that gay party that night and Wax had his zip open? That's on you, hey, bro. Right. That's you know on what I'm you. Saying? You kind of... I, I understand that. So if he was pointing at me trying to tell me my zipper is closed, and I'm thinking he's trying to do it in my meat, I'm going to go tell the security, this guy is hitting on me. What if a gay guy walk up to Wax and go, free drink? Because <laughs> 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 you fly open. <laughs> But that, 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 that means nothing. Like, I don't get it. You get it? I get it. You don't get it? No. <laughs> what is it? Kachos, help me. <laughs> He's saying me. the drinks are going to come from your dick. <laughs> your fly's open in the gay party. Yeah. So what? How much piss I got to be drinking? Like, I don't get it. Oh, it's not piss, bro. Yeah, it ain't piss, son. <laughs> yeah, it ain't <laughs> piss, son. Let bro. me tell you about the birds and the bees, son. <laughs> <laughs> That ain't pissed, son. Well, I was just—I was saying because you said the whole witness thing. I was saying that girls just sit there and just whatever, man. Yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how I want you to answer that guy when he walks up to you in the club and asks, "Can he suck that?" All right, <laughs> whatever, man. <sighs> okay, well, let's pay some bills because I gotta pee. All right, me, me too, too, bro. Hold up. All right, let's stop for a second and pay some bills, man. I gotta salute Cushy Dreams. Uh, the world today is nuts, and just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable, and that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help, okay? Cushy Dreams specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away, so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eight Eight ounce cans and pre roll joints. Okay, you can get an eighth. Okay, an eighth and an eighth ounce can and pre roll joints. All right, it is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all fifty states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Okay, with Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. 
We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com, K-U-S-H-Y. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order, first, second, etc. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Um, You know, we were talking about reparations earlier, man. A great podcast to check out is uh, The Big Payback podcast hosted by Erica Alexander and, and, and Whitney Dow. Like they break down reparations from all angles. You know what I'm saying? They talk to people who are for it. They talk for, to people who are against it. They talk to people who can tell you how to get it done. It's a great, great podcast um, on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Y'all know Erica Alexander. Uh, she was uh, Pam from the Cosby Show, Cosby Show and Maxine Shaw, attorney at law on Living Single. And she's just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant system, man, that I just, I love to hear breaking down, you know, a number of different things. So check out the Big Payback podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Um, shout out to Drake. Have you heard the songs, Schultz? Nah, a little bit. Have I heard of a little bit? He debuted one, two, and three on Billboard. Um, congrats to him. You know, I said on this podcast a few months ago, when I had Wayno and Nyla on, I asked the question, I said, is, is, is the Drake era over? And um, my reason for saying that is because like we know Drake dominates radio, we know Drake dominates the charts, but sometimes radio is not an accurate reflection of what is going on in the streets, especially nowadays. So I was just asking the question, you know what I'm saying? Is, 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 is this still the Drake era? Because you know, when you watch the Grammys, you see, the babies and the little babies and the Meg the Stallions and the Roddy Riches, you know what I mean? It just seems like when it comes to hip hop, I mean, it's not, not when it seems like those are the people that are running things right now. And Drake is always going to be Drake. But um, yeah, I just was wondering, you know, I, 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 does he have another level? And, you know, for me, I really like that three pack. You know, I thought the lemon pepper freestyle was mean. What's that bar I like when he talks about um, when he said, uh, what he said, he said, he said, fame, fame is, is more disconnected from celebrity. What was the line? It was, some, it was something about celebrity and fame don't go hand in hand, you know, but then he was like, um, most of the time you got to ask people what their, what their profession is. That's very true, right? Because celebrity nowadays, it's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, put a lyrics up for me because I love this bar. This is, this is a great bar. Where is it at? Hit more, Taylor. You ain't heard none of the song shows? I probably had it on. I think I think we were playing a little bit when we were in Columbus, but um, yeah, I need more Taylor. There you go. Now scroll down. I see, but you not hearing the records is what I'm talking about. There was a time you couldn't miss the Drake record, right? I could. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not like a huge <laughs> music head where like I need to listen to it, scroll but I down, admire man. his his greatness. Like it's unbelievable what he's done to stay at the yeah, top yeah. of. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh no, his it craft, is. Man. It is. This line, these days, fame is disconnected from excellence. Half the time, I got to ask N-words what their profession is. Usher the, a generation in. These are where my confessions live. I could do a whole podcast on just that one line. These days, fame is disconnected from excellence. You know what I mean? Because you got so many people that have so much celebrity. You know what I mean? Or so much notoriety or even infamy. And you don't even know what the fuck they do. Yeah. Gotta ask people what, the, what you know. What I'm saying what it is that you do. So, you know, I, Drake is going always Drake. I was just asking a simple question, and you know, the internet takes things and run with it. And they said yeah. I said Drake fell off. I never said Drake fell off. I always said Drake is Drake. And I also never even questioned whether Drake can do what he does on the charts. I just wanted to Drake have another level. So and this is a freestyle. It's another level, man. It's a, to me, so that's a, it's another level of lyricism to me. This is a perfect example where you should just admit your hypocrisy because on this very podcast, <laughs> well, I was—I mean, it's not even a hypocrisy. No, no. On this wrong. very podcast, yeah. a few months back, you were like, "Yeah, it's done for Drake." I think the Drake era is over. That. Yes, did you did. Someone go find that shit. Someone go find that shit. You said the Drake era is over, but I just said that. No, I said, I said, okay. I asked the question: Is the Drake era over? No, nah, no, nah. this and is then, months ago. Then, you said it was over. You're like, it's yeah. over for no, Drake. Not. No, I didn't. Yeah. No, I didn't. You did, I did but not. yo, just That's admit you're no, a hypocrite. I mean, you questioned it, and then you thought about it. Like, I think so. I questioned it, and then I thought about it based off the fact that we know he dominates radio. 
but radio doesn't reflect what's actually happening in the culture a lot of the time. It was when he made that song that came out with like a TikTok dance and nobody started. Yeah. I, no, I hated that. But that that's when I was really, I was just pissed off because, but here's the thing. And I want y'all to remember this, right? It's not just with Drake. It's with any great, right? We Who's love, Sly? the reason we don't want Tom Brady to retire Who's Sly? is because, Tootsie Slide, the reason we don't want Tom Brady to retire is because we really want to see how great this motherfucker could be. Yeah. Can he do it again? It's, exactly. So when you see somebody with that kind of potential, you like, the fuck are you doing making Tootsie Slide? Yeah. Wasn't you know that my even though, even though, Didn't even, I say this though, shit ain't going to catch on? It did, though. It was number one song in the country. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, was, I'm no, Hippocrates, bro. It's all good, dude. That's you, not listen, hypocrisy, though. That's just being wrong. I'm li You're wrong. Listen, I'm liberated in my hypocrisy. All I'm saying, liberate yourself, bro. Just liberate yourself. Just take the plunge, bro. Let me baptize I, you but, in hypocrisy. No, because no, I'm still standing on it because now I'm, I'm, ex I'm expecting even more, right? Because I heard this Lemon Pepper freestyle, and I'm like, all right. And I like that What's Next record a lot, too, because he's basically saying, Hey, I've done this and that, but we just got to see what's next. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't know what we, I'm, we got. We just got to see what's next. And, and that, I like that just because that's how the universe works, right? Like sometimes you just got to let things flow. But I am expecting a classic from Drake with Certified Loverboy. I'm putting that kind of pressure on him mm. because he had a decade of dom dominance, right? And Certified Loverboy is coming. He's at that point in his career where he's playing with house money. Only thing he has to do is deliver us excellence. And by the way, Drake is a standard himself, right? So Drake, the Drake that we have right now is enough. But I know it's another level. I have a question. I know it's another Where's level. What makes the classic? What do you mean, what makes the classic? Makes the Are you comparing it to Jay-Z? Like, no, I'm not comparing it. Well, I'm, only, thing, only thing I'm comparing it to is the fact that Jay-Z definitely did get better with time. You know what I'm saying? Even people like Lil Wayne, Later in their career, they was giving us some of their best stuff. That whole Young Money era started, and that shit, that might have been Wayne's second or third win in the game, actually. You know what I mean? Or even Nas with Still Matic. Like, these people that are, you know, Jay-Z gave us the Black Album like 10 years into his career. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. It's just like, these are the people that I'm, I'm, I'm looking at and I'm comparing Drake to because he is one of those. Would you rather have Drake's career or Jay-Z's career? Jay-Z. Oh. Jay-Z. Oh, but I mean, listen, I'm, 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 I'm older, you know what I'm saying? So that's the generation I grew up in, but I would rather have Hove because Hove has a very undeniable catalog. I mean, Drake's catalog is undeniable too, but it's just like, it just feel like Hove's catalog still means a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more meat on the bone, you know? And I mean, like Hove is known as the goat. He's the greatest of all time. Drake right. even said on one of those leak records, it's just me and Hove, you know what I mean? Which I still disagree with because I don't know why y'all be disrespecting Kung Fu Kenny so goddamn much like Kendrick Lamar is not a problem and I cannot wait until Kendrick Lamar drops his next album so y'all can start the West Coast dick licking because that's what y'all gonna do because that's the era that we live in somebody sent me a message the other day because uh, Baca I saw Baca one of Drake's mans he put you know Drake doing the one two three and he added me see the God and he put zip it and somebody put stop comparing that Shea Butter ass rapper Kendrick Lamar to Drake, <laughs> like, nobody even thinks about Kendrick no more. Damn, so a person takes four years to actually really craft some dope shit, which Kendrick always does. Kendrick takes his time, right? And we know Kendrick gonna come out and shift culture. He gonna be on the cover of every magazine. He gonna be on every talk show he chooses to be on. He gonna dominate award season. Everybody gonna be on his dick like they always do, rightfully so, because we know he gonna come with some shit. And then everybody's whole conversation is going to change. Like, oh, no, nah, yeah, Kendrick is the guy. Kendrick is the man. Yeah, he's, the, he's been the man. Like, Recency already... bias is called. What's it called? Recency bias. It happens in fight yes, sports a lot. True. Like, if you get a big knockout, then everybody's yeah. like, oh, he's a problem. It's yeah. going to happen. This guy's going to win a title, blah, blah, blah. And then you get knocked out, and everybody's like, oh, yeah, he never had it. So we get Absolutely recency bias with now. everything, 100%. And, and and by the way, I, I might have had recency bias with Drake the past couple of years because Scorpion came out 2018, had a lot of, you know, dope records on it. You know, uh, some people was like, oh, it should have been a double album. He had some really good records, some records that was just like, eh. And then, you know, he, he stayed consistent, of course, because he always does features and stuff. But then you give us 
Tootsie Slide. I'm like, man, I'm not. If this where you going, we can't. No, bro. No, no, no. You too dope for that. Give give Tootsie Slide to some kid in Toronto. That's twelve. Yo, you know, you know what, what I just realized, bro? Yeah. Tootsie Slide is fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I never even heard it before. Yo, that yes, might be did. Drake's What's best song, bro. That dance man, slaps shut up, too. Man. I like right when Drake foot raps. up, left foot slide. Oh, I heard that right before. Right foot up, left and, foot and slide. The Macarena, the and, black Macarena. That's not the what? fucking Macarena. Did you just call it the really? black arena, bro? No, the black Macarena. That's not. Question. It's more to electric slide. Than... But shout out to Drake. Congratulations. We're waiting for certified lover boy. I'm expecting a classic, all right? Pressure's on. Ooh. All right, but... But but it's, it's it's like I said on Breakfast Club, he's the bar. So when you put your when you're the when you're the bar and you set your own standard, you know, hey, you put that pressure on yourself. Can Tom Brady come in next season and just make the playoffs? Nope. What are we expecting Tom to do? Win again. Honestly, I expect <laughs> nothing of Tom Brady just because he's so fucking old. He's done it already. But yeah, you're right. We we assume he's gonna win. I what would you be expecting LeBron to do in his later years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't call right. people. Like we, we're yeah. looking at those guys because we, we want yeah. rings. You're like, yo, you got to win a ring, Bron. That's the standard for you, Bron. There's yeah, only one standard for yeah, you. Why you here? Yeah, that's Brady. A good point. There's only one standard for you, Drake. Yeah. There's only one standard for you. Like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know what it's mean? Your fault for being great. <laughs> that's your fault for being great. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's your fault for being great. I wonder why they don't root for. They don't root down on like how they do, like box, or so. They want to root for, or they don't want to root. More, for Mayweather. What are you talking about? You know, people give Mayweather flack, or not flack, but you, they wish that he doesn't win. Oh, that's because of his attitude. Yeah, his, like, his Drake's a nice guy, yeah. so he's easy to root for. Like, yeah. Even though he's really a demon on the low, but he's a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you like, think he's Mayweather a demon is, on the low? Yeah, why? <laughs> oh, no, he's petty. What he's do you petty. mean? Of course he's petty. Oh, no, he's petty. He's petty. He's petty. I, I mean, I actually appreciate his level of petty. Like, why? What do you do? Level, I'm that level of petty too. I'm just, you know, it's just like little. I remember everything. With him and Meek Mill. I remember everything. I feel like he you know squashes beefs and like moves on. Nah, that's what you think. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <right? laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> but in my mind. <laughs> Got one more. <laughs> oh, buddy. And actually, that's what I enjoy more now than anything. Really? Like, you know, nobody got to know. Yeah. Oh, Nobody I love know. that. I love Nobody this Charlemagne. I love petty Charlemagne. I just <laughs> love it. I love. He's always been like that. Oh my god. I love no one petty people with disposable income. There is nothing better <laughs> than petty and disposable income because the levels that you can go with the petty are so high, so high. Hey man. Hey man. It's fun. It's fun. And the fun. The best part about it, honestly. You really don't have to do anything. All yeah. you got to do is just sit back, let people play themselves, mm -hmm. yeah. and then you just eh. yeah. <laughs> flick them off. That's all. No, 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 no. Don't spend all this energy. Just, just wait. Be calm. So Be you telling me I shouldn't have put doodle on my um, boss's coat? I no, had to do you that. shouldn't have put doodle on your boss's coat. Listen, do y'all you lotion your balls? What? Do y'all lotion your balls? No. We talked about this with Shaq. Because Shaq, uh, somebody was putting Icy Hot on Shaq's thighs, and they got a little too close, and they put it on his balls. <laughs> and um, I don't know how we got on the discussion, but there was this discussion about guys lotioning their balls. I'm like, who lotions their balls? I tried to I mean, jerk it's, off it's, with it's, Icy Hot once. That was terrifying. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Good job. Wow. I don't know. I didn't have any Vaseline, and at that time in my life, I was whacking off with Vaseline. And wow. uh, oh Icy God. Hot looked you. like... <laughs> Like You're Vaseline, a masochist, bro. <laughs> Yo. So You're I, a masochist. I started jerking, <laughs> and the shit my... was mad cold <laughs> in the beginning. And I was like, "Oh, that's weird. It's kind of freezing." Is that the cold. first time you used it? First time I used it, and then when my dick oh got my fire, God. it got super hot. <laughs> yeah, that was a little crazy. That was. Have super... you ever used the icy hot condom? Say what? There's icy hot condom. No, it's not. Yes, there are. Why do you say things like there that? Are. that you Yo, Taylor. Thank you. Taylor. Yes, there are. Let me tell you Google something. Taylor. I don't know if you know who you're talking to on this podcast, but <laughs> the three of us have not used condoms in probably over a decade. So there's there's yeah. no relatability with a the condoms. Decade. I, 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 I've never seen them in the stores years. though. Right here, look, fire and ice. 
That's not icy hot. Ice, icy hot is I'm totally si- different. But you know what I'm saying? It doesn't. Say no, fuck. I don't. You uh, said icy hot is icy hot. Taylor, you, you know said what I'm icy to say, hot. Though. No, we don't. We uh, know what you said. Either say. way, it does the same thing that icy hot does. No uh, way. What? Are no. you serious? You know what icy hot do? Yeah. Yes. Icy hot burns. That's why Shaq had to go in the shower and wash it off. Well, it's not gonna burn, but it goes to cold and fire. You've had somebody use that on you? Yes. And what does it feel like? It felt just like I just said, cold and. Oh, it's on you it do, but what about us? Do it, 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 I don't what? know what that's for y'all. So that's just for the woman's pleasure. It goes on y'all though, so I don't know. How you don't know? You use it. I'm not a fucking nigga. Yo. Oh. I'm Chill just saying, out. he didn't tell you that he feel it? <laughs> like this is, this is a new condom. He's not going to tell you that he feel this? You're not nigger. Is that his name? Taylor. The way you said it, it sounded like a name. It, Taylor, I'm trying to figure it out. Icy hot on the inside <laughs> or the outside? I'm sorry, wife. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, show. <laughs> What's Taylor, his last name? Please? Is the icy hot on the inside <laughs> or the outside? Um, of the condom, because yeah, once yeah. I took one of those numbing condoms, you know the numbing ones, like it makes your dick numb so you don't come fast. But I no. put the shit on backwards. <laughs> never <heard of> that. <laughs> you never heard about those? Oh yeah, there's Hell condoms no. that make you last longer, so it numbs your dick. But I put the shit on backwards, so is I have to flip it with a condom. Period. But is that, is that a condom? Period. Yeah, nobody got time for that shit. <laughs> like, yeah, wait, what? I, don't, I don't need to. I, that's the whole point of wearing a condom. Wearing so a condom last so you can last. Exactly. Yeah, well, I needed to come wear condoms on condoms, bro. Your boy was out here back in the day. <laughs> but no, that it gets worse. Time. So what happened was, is uh, I put the condom on backwards at first, wouldn't roll down. So then I had to flip it. But now I got all the numbing shit all over my fingers. So then when I touched the girl's pussy, her shit started to numb up. (laughs) So now we're both numb. Like some fucking Ken and Barbie dolls are fucking. It's stupid. (laughs) She don't even know you put it in. Say what? (laughs) She didn't even know you put it in. No. We're just sitting there, rubbing back and forth. Like fucking Cardi B and Meg Thee Stallion. Just feeling absolutely nothing. You might as well just scissor at that point. <laughs> That's what you was doing. <laughs> Let's do some Asking Idiots, man. Let's do it. I got to get the jersey. Perfect. You stop ready, Asian Taylor? Hate too, of course guys. not. Hey, stop Asian hate. Yeah, man. Asians are Yo, cool, we got to stop Asian hate, okay. bro. That's yeah. right. I'm doing that for myself. But I really did that for my man, Chris Moreau. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yo, Chris, My boy Dave. what's the deal, bro? Tell us about this Asian hate. We see people posting on Instagram, so it must be real. Yeah, yeah unfortunately. It's real. Whoa. And it's what is, up. what is, like, how do they qualify it? Like, it's for COVID, right? They think that uh, Asians are the ones that bought COVID over or some stupid shit like that. They've been had the mask. Named for COVID, and, uh, you know, people are generally taking out frustrations and whatever they're feeling on random Asians and there's you know the way they qualified is there's been an uptick in violence. So there's an I'm gonna up- tell you something, man. It's Here's the wild. thing about COVID, there's really nobody to blame for COVID, though. Yeah, for eh. real. You can you can you, you can blame, you know, Trump for how he responded to it, but there's I mean, it's an act of God. It's a it's biological warfare. It's like this shit happens sometimes. I was listening to what the fuck was is I it, listening is to? Is it an act of God was, or is it biological warfare? Because those are two very different things. I don't know. Well, it's, it's act of God. <laughs> That's what I'm talking it's, about, it's, Hippocrates. It's, it's yeah, you know what I mean? But I was, I was watching, I was listening to something in an audio book and they were talking about some reindeer carcasses that were in the Arctic and they were frozen. But then when the ice cap started to melt and the carcasses started to rise, like this disease Spread. Came from the carcasses. I don't remember what 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 disease it was. Measles. But it's just like, what do you do? You who do you blame for that? Santa Claus? It's reindeer. Nah, like, you what do you can't blame? For blame that? I mean, if it looks like it came from a lab and it like got leaked from the lab, then that's one thing. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. but if it just happened naturally, you can't really blame people for like a disease popping up. But you can blame the countries and governments for how it was handled and a lack yes. of disclosure mm-hmm. of I information. Agree. And the Chinese government is a bunch of pieces of fucking human garbage. And uh, I don't well, think that they really... That saying stop Asian hate. Yeah, show. Really. Hey, the American <laughs> government is a bunch of pieces of human gar- garbage. Nobody cares they're all about garbage. America. But my point, is, America. my point is, like, we do this thing where we're like, I don't know, people like feel like you can't be critical of the Chinese government that in some way that's racist. And it's like, no, it's not racist. They're fucking pieces of shit. They're like exterminating groups of people out there. Like Chris, is that true? I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Dude, there's nobody that hates the Chinese government more than Chris's Taiwanese uh, family. Of the, of the Chinese government. Okay. But, you know, okay. You know, 
I think the, the, the issue is that a lot of Asian Americans, people in Asia who have absolutely nothing to do with or connection to the Chinese government or even fans of the Chinese government are, you know, I agree. I agree. In front of this, that which shit is, is wrong. When you, and should I, not I'm going to tell you something right now. If I'm out in the street and I see you knocking an old person down, I don't care what color they are. We going to beat yeah, the shit fine. out of you. I don't, I don't care if it's a black are. old woman, an Asian old woman, Jewish old woman. If I see you do what I be seeing y'all do to these old people on Instagram, we going to do you dirty. Mm -hmm. We're fun that day. Guaranteed. That's right. I'm going to see how many pushes I really did. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to be honest That's with right. you. I'm going to call the police, bro. I'll call the police. <laughs> uh, I'm going to call the police. I just, I'm I can't, you know. I'm going to call them too, but in the moment, we got to restrain them. Yeah. And it, and in the process of restraining them. Something happened. Something happened. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Officer. We held them here for you. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what diseases you got. I don't know got. why a wax fly is open. I don't, huh? <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I don't know what diseases these motherfuckers got. Some crackhead came up to me yesterday trying to sell me a sweatshirt for $5, and he was, like, getting all close and stuff. And I was like, uh, I don't know. And it was just weird. I'm like, I can't fight you because you probably got AIDS or something. So yeah, no, I don't want to do that. Can't do it. So crazy people, like someone who's crazy enough to just punch a fucking old person in the street, like yeah. those motherfuckers weird me out. I'd rather get in a Figure bar fight out. with somebody. We do what we got to do. It's fine. But literal crazy, that no, is next level like, terrifying. It, it, it's, it's certain ways that you can sit there and beat them up without getting touched. Yeah, with a we'll bat. We figure that out. Yeah, we figure it out. But I'm telling you right yeah. now, that shit pisses me off. When I see people fucking with people that are helpless, like kids, oh, man. old yeah. women people, and children, man. boy, that shit, I like, yeah, you all bets off. You seen an old lady get kicked in the head in the, on a train? Come on, man. Man. Yeah, man. And how do you stand around and watch that type of shit happen? Nah, bro. Nope, nope. nope. What did she Pretty say? For me. Say she's an older lady getting her ass kicked. But what for what? By some what young fuckers, the, too, I bet. There was some young black dude that was actually doing it to See? You beat the shit out of him. Yeah. I don't what? care. Race, the race don't got nothing to do with it. Not like, certain that. shit. It's certain lines and that you just don't cross. Kids, older people, nah, I don't nah. give a fuck. I, nah, we're gonna we do you, you dirty. Got you. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor, and get out of here. Give us two good ones, please. <clears throat> um, Marcus, Marquise Alley, on you guys' journey, what was the time when you knew you were on the right path before your big Like a convo that may have. Um... When I get passionate about something, when I get really excited about something, when I, when I can't stop thinking about it, when I'm out to eat with my girl, I can't stop thinking about it. When I'm working out, I can't stop thinking about it. Like when my brain is locked in and I start to find, well, I just call it the address. You know, I always say that you can't get anywhere unless you know the, the location you're trying to get to. So once I get a, an address, once I lock in, that is the moment. So that's happened multiple times, I guess, in my career. But once I find an address, bro, I'm excited. There's just a sensation that's there I love. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way. It's just a feeling, man. And 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 you, you don't realize that until you've had a lot of W's. You know what I'm saying? And you got you're older and you got something to look back on. Like I'm mm -hmm. sure if you're I'm sure like if you if Braun's in a game, he knows when the momentum is shifting Shit. his way and yeah. they about to win. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. it's kind of the same thing. You just it is you just know. I can't. I can't describe it. It's just you just know, man. Just be happy to be alive. You know? Be happy yeah. to be alive. No, that that that's, right there is very important. Mm. That's that's the thing I've really learned. It's just like all this shit. All this shit pretty much moves effortlessly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, but to Andrew's point, it's like when you get that shit in your stomach, that yeah. passion, just go towards that. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what it is. Podcast, do it. Comedy, do it. You want to write something, do it. You know what I'm saying? You feel like I, I need to go to school to be an engineer, do it. Whatever, mm -hmm. whatever the fuck it is, you're gonna feel it in your stomach. Once you go towards it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult, but it eventually will pay off, whatever it is. Uh, <clears throat> for Chairman Ken, he wants to know, are artists, any type of art, music, required to do more than just use their art for social justice movement to prove they really care, or should people just expect artists to use their art and anything outside of that should be considered? You can't, you can't tell an artist how to paint. Yeah, that's why he's an artist. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. Like when you're an artist, you make whatever it is you feel like making. Like I think Throat Baby is art. You know what I mean? Just like what? I think Kendrick Lamar, we gonna be all right is art. Oh, you never heard Throat Baby? No. Really? By BRS Cast. Throat Baby, I, I, like I wanna song, give them to you. Throat Baby. I thought it was Throat Baby. Throat. 
Whatever you want to say in jail, wax. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all good. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to jail. I'll but, be all right. But, but throw, I got a badge. But throw baby. <laughs> I'm okay. Like like throw baby is not no song about social justice or you know anything. It's just a song about head. I that's good art though. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't think everything has to have a message, so to speak. Some shit is just funny. You know what I mean? Every I don't, I, I don't think everything has to have a message in it. Yeah, I'm with you on that 100, percent man. Like. People are going to create the art that they want to create if it's coming from a real place. And if it resonates with uh, the rest of society, then it will become popular. But you can't really tell people what to do with their art, especially if they're not asking Mm -hmm. you to tell them. Just do whatever you want to do. And if it links up with the curiosity of the time, then shit, you're going to have some success. I have one question based on the hypocrisy. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Would love that. Um, I feel like I asked you this, but um, someone said, when was the last time you are belief on something changed what when's the last time your belief in something shit every day <laughs> well when's the last time but like what what was it though? uh shit i my don't girl, do my girl know. love me do your girl love you what is that Shut today up. she loved me today too again i don't know i mean listen even in the like uh, me and me and schultz sitting there talking there having this podcast i'm sure when i if i go back and listen to it it's something i thought coming into it that I may think otherwise, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Like when you have conversations with people every day and you're taking in new information, mm. your mind going to change on things. I'm headed to a meeting right now. I got a certain expectation of, of things, but my mind may be totally different once I get there. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I just, I, you know, like my mind changes every, every day. I, yeah. I just told y'all about, I just said a few months ago asking, is, is this still the Drake era? I wasn't sure. Yeah. Uh, now, <laughs> now I'm not, all the way 100 percent but you're leaning just, into it no not really i'm you know i'm i'm solid in my hate you know what i'm saying so <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'm like a I'm, a, like, I'm like a, i'm an indigo sativa hybrid you know what i mean it's good, solid too. like a man That's a good congratulations one. but i'm gonna leave you that <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> congratulations but he could have cheated. Anybody thought about that? Possible. <laughs> Ain't no. Have we tested him for perform- performance enhancing drugs? 100%. Has anybody seen Drake's birth certificate? Huh? Anybody? We don't know. Just saying. All right. As always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace. Hey.